see whether or not our lichen is gonna do lichen things for the early wolves we saw that before wolves up to the fountain sniping couriers not quite shaped up for there on tino but he is moving in to deny the bottom ruin clumping around kp blood right nothing else happening you just take a bounty rune is not denied just scout it out go to the bot lane as well because right now there is a bit of a dive going on here from Arfu and mid one it is going to be Arfu and mid one against tino and rr and right now mid one is really going for some very heavy harass but the tier one tower is aggroed he will use the mischief to try and avoid, but he's taking a lot of damage here. Mid one, I'm not sure if this is a good idea because he's been blocked in now. He'll go for the boundless though, and Arfu will be able to get the first mud. Mid one, he cannot get out, however. RR still gets the kill, but it looks like RR should die to Arfu. And Arfu on the Earthshaker is going to be able to get a double kill. He's going again to the jungle, but Moon's now going to start pressuring with this five minute siege creep. Arfu. Going in deep, trying to suss out where Bob's gone, and now we'll go for the Fisher into the Light Strike Array, but RR's gonna be around still. The Laguna was committed, but Bob, he should ultimately be alright, but no, never mind. Dragon Slave will connect Moon. He needs a way out, but the body blocks are out from RR, and that is gonna be enough for Execration to at least be able to trade the mid lane. More pressure being applied by Moon, and this is something you can very easily do on the mid laner, is just keep hitting that tier 1 tower. Bob, all he can do is come in and raise the creep wave, but SMG are always grouped up as three to really try and make sure Bob never feels safe on the Shadow Fiend. And that he certainly does in his Arfu. He's looking for a Fisher, does land it into the Light Strike Array. Will they have the damage output? They just may as Bob, he is dropping so low and Roggy eventually will be able to secure. There's now Tino, will try to come in after Arfu. Can he get this kill? The Sams are there. Arfu gonna get stunned up. Or rather, Tino's gonna get stunned up, Arfu's still running. The Helm of the Dominator is there to chase him down, and eventually, yeah. with the creeps out, they will be able to get the kill. ...to rush the Dragonlance on the SF, so it's Dragonlance BKB. He wants to be able to man fight, stand in front without worrying about the control. Still a bit slow going, considering the space Bob has got. Well, KP ends up killing off Raging Potato down to the bot lane, and now SMG, they want to try and respond here to Execration. Mid one, gonna spot out Bob, and that's the target they'd love to go after, but Requiem is gonna be there, the Boundless. It did not connect fast enough, so Arfu, he's gonna die. Roggy will try to go in after BDZ. They should at least be able to pick off the Rubik, though Guardian Angel is gonna be expended, and RR and Tino are gonna start moving in. BDZ finally drops mid one, forced to pop the Wukong's command, and Tino, he's gonna have to back, but he gets them so darn low in HP, and will try to chase them down with the units. But Moon, he's very well aware that they are chasing him, though Wolves are doing a lot of damage, Moon! Oh no, Moon, he gets crit down by the Wolves! Mid one, still gonna chase down Bob, Looks like Bob should be able to survive. Problems here for SMG once that's up, I think. We'll see how they handle it. BDZ. We'll try and swash away and we'll be successful. Bob. Oh, he gets knocked out of the Roshan pit. Mid what? one. Yeah, Roshan's even bashing Roggy now. Bob's gonna be alright. Heavenly Grace is there. The Fisher does not block him in either. KP's gonna try and rush forward. Razor's flying out, however, and Bob, he is still alive. Aether Remnant will make sure they can't chase him down. Arfu, he will commit the Echo just to make sure they get the kill. But it does cost him his life, Tino. He's got the Helm of the Overlord. And he's more than happy to chase people down now. Mid one went quite deep, but he's gonna be put on the cliff. He'll jump back down. Nice boundless strike onto RR and BDZ, but he still can't find a killers now. They'll turn around on the Monkey King, and it looks like they just may have him. And they do. Bob to give the tip over to mid one. Mid on the Monkey King's pretty big. The damage output's actually not there. He kind of just tickles. So you've got to be careful about that, KP. Yeah, he's been caught out. Astral Step is back up. Raging, can he finish off the kill? Apparently he can, KP. He, he commits the rupture, but ultimately Raging's gonna be just fine. Mid lane. Well, they've got Tino, but the wolf form is gonna be there, so he can just run his way out, and we've got a bit of a race going on here, Tino and Roggy. <laughs> Fast and the Furious. But in the end, Tino, he's got family, John, and family always wins. Raging. Oh, no. 
He's going to jump himself out, but mid one is going to chase him down. Still, the Helm of the Overlord is going to come out, and the Aether Remnant does land through the tree line. Tino, he's still willing to try and fight on this wolf form as mid one. Has he gone too far again? The wolves are going to chase him down. Bowler Strike is out. They've oh. got Raging, but he's not down. And in fact, mid one, he's the one to die. And now they'll go after Roggi as well. Get the Pango down if you can. He'll try to run. He's not that fast, though, but KB, he's going to come in onto Raging. It just won't be enough. Or will it? KB now the one that needs to get out, but a nice Fisher there. BDZ, he'll block the way. Guardian Angels out, and they even got Roggi. And has the drums up, which we don't see too often on the Lycan, even with the Zoom Aiden. They're coming in from the back, Rolling Thunder. No, it's too late. Oh, and Roggi gets stuck. Look at that. Bit of a burnout moment there for Roggi. Swashbuckle his way out, but this could be a disaster as there's the wolf form out and Roggi's just gonna get eaten out for Tino, but oh wait a minute, Fisher is there, a big Fisher out, now the Bowler Strike, but it's not enough, Ah, oh, where's the follow-up, Laguna Blade, they finally get Tino down, but Bob's gonna drop, the Aegis at least is now mid one, gonna jump in, BDZ is there, they're onto the Rubik and it looks like they've got him, Bob will try to get the Razors out, Moon still moving in, Try and go after that SF as they get Roggi a secondary time. The SF, Bob, he's going to drop his SMG. They're successful in their fight. Mid one, may have found another. It's KB, he's going to drop. RR, going to try and run mid one. Still chasing him down with the Jingu Mastery. Heavenly Grey, such a balanced ability here, keeping RR alive. But they've got Raging Potato and they will take him down. So in the end, you'd have to claim that a, a victory for SMG in that big team fight. And well, the Roshan went the way of Execration, but the Aegis, it disappeared so early on. Uh, a lot of their early momentum is coming out from the first Bob. beginning of the fourth. Hello? Oh, Bob, he was playing so safe. And then the one moment he wants to go high ground, he'll pay for it immediately. It's SMG. They're at the perfect timing. BDZ throws a Fisher out, but it won't amount to much. In fact, Arfu's still waiting to reinitiate. RR does get spotted, and that's how you want your Fisher. Lock him right in. He'll find a gap, but it won't be enough, I don't think, as the Heavenly Grace and Guardian Angel are both there, but the Echo. Arfu's in. Raging now. He's been caught out as well, or has he? He'll try to turn around for the Earthshaker, and Arfu, he's still going to survive. Raging, he'll keep going, but he's been stunned up again. No Astral Steps left, and he will die. On to BDZ. He'll get another. Very nice place from SMG. Execration's kind of stalling this game out with. And Execration for their part. I mean, they've got the Crystalis up on Bob. They just make something happen. Oh, Raging. In a pretty rough position here. He's going to keep trying to go after Roggi, but Roggi's going to be able to survive, I think, as Raging is still trying to get out. Here comes the Rolling Thunder. It does connect onto two, but there's your Heavenly Grace out on Bob. He just does so much damage on this SF as long with Tino. On the like, and is now RR. It's still being chased down. Mid one. He's going to jump right in. Fisher's there. The follow up's done as well, but the Requiem is going to be committed. It'll be enough to force back Arfu. Still mid one. He's able to get the job done, and KB is able to rush BDZ. As now they'll go on to Bob. They'll find the SF, and Light Strike Ray is going to be there to lock him down. Tino, he'll try to chase down Moon, but there's your Echo Slam out. It finds Tino, and well, there's no escape oh. here as Arfu. He is just all over him. I'll tell you, John, this Earthshaker play from Arfu has just been really fantastic this game. Careful with that Rolling Thunder as you, you do break down trees. In the end, nobody pays for it as they'll go in for more now. Resonant Pulse is out. Mid one, he's going to be alright as he'll turn around, but you've got the leader there. Fisher out to try and block the way. Raging, he's stuck between a rock and a hard place. Still trying to chase down KP. He does get the kill. Meanwhile, Bob does kill off Roggi. Mid one, still trying to find Raging. Will eventually be able to get the kill, but now Execration might continue to force this fight. As it's a 4v3 scenario. Moon, he'll move in. Another nice fish around, Bob. He's got no BKB, but they've got the Heavenly Grace and Moon. He's the one surrounded and in trouble. He might drop and does. Mid one, he's jumped in by himself, but the Guardian Angel protecting everyone up. He's going to try and man fight this one out, but he's doing no oh. damage. Or maybe he is. He'll lose the Aegis. Still surrounded by wolves. He's just got nowhere to go right now. He'll be freed, but only into the loving arms of BDZ. Tino now will try and chase down Arfu, but he'll be able to blink and TP away and might just make it in time. End up getting it. 
KB also going to be spotted out. Raging. Might cop the blood right here. KB, he's going to BKB a man fight oh. this and Raging. He's been ruptured up. Yeah, he's gone. Meanwhile, mid lane, oh. Fu. He commits a big echo slam and ends up fighting Bob. RR. Ah, ah. He's going to try and run, but KP has got so much attack and movement speed, he's oh. going to find a secondary kill. The flayed ones drink your Boils down to Rubik lift, and that's it. It's not amazing. So you really need Raging Potato to be a little bit safer. Top racks now with no respawns, no buybacks. Should just go, and that's going to be Mega Creep's execution. We'll have to play against. Um, I think the one thing for SMG is, as long as they hold on to the Nullfire and use it when they see Guardian Angel, you're not going to have issues. That's the one small thing that happened there for SMG. Mid one was very preemptive with the Nullfire use. Oh, onto the line, Contino going to pop his BKB and try to man fight mid one. Rupture is there to make sure he goes nowhere. Is now the Rolling Thunder in the back lines. This Omni, he just can't get any spells off. Meanwhile, mid one still man fighting and does get it done as Bob now will go after Moon. So many fights across this team fight, but it won't matter. As SMG continues to come out on top, Bob is the only man left. The Raging, he's going to respawn up in two seconds. But it's still a very hard defense to ask for. Spin one, Balance is there. One hit onto the Monkey King as Raging is going to jump in and they will make him drop quite low mid one. He might just drop and does, but immediately will buy back as now Bob's going to be in a spot of danger. And the Ancient is under siege. Moon, he'll get oh. the job done. SF to go, mid one immediately out with the dip onto Bob. And Raging Potato, he's going to try and find Roggy. Aether Remnant is on target, but he has been caught out by the Boundless Strike and Moon. He'll get a double kill and onto the Ancient they go. This will be it. BDZ, he will try to continue defending. But it looks like this game is well and truly over as mid one. They are just waiting for the call. Look at this. <laughs> the ultimate BM oh. moves here for SMG. Just bananas for mid one. They won't finish the game. This reminds me of my pub games, John. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. And that is the classic Sekisation pub. They will eventually melt it. Trying to be sneaky, BDZ did steal the Wukongs, <laughs> but it's not enough. And uh, there you go. No GG until the end. SMG just playing with your food at the end there. Execration. What it is. That's the price of love, Mike. <laughs> I would have blamed it on the Wind Ranger, John, don't you worry. You can still... <laughs> <laughs> Bounty Rune's going to go oh. the way of both teams, two for two. We'll see what he gets done, but, you know, naturally the build-up is Helm of the Dominator into Helm of the Overlord. No boots necessary. This uh, this hero just just hits creeps for a while and then becomes a real menace. We'll see what RR and Tina can do. In fact, Bloodride is there with the Impale and the Body Blocks. They might be able to get First Blood, and they do. Tino able to pick it up. Great start here for the for the safe lane of Execration. You can see Moon opted for a 3-0-3 build. No Global Sans. Who needs it when you can just dominate lane up? Bob? Very, very risky play, Bob. Stick charges up by Moon. He's not dead yet, and it looks like he might go down, but he's going to go for the TP play. Nice Fuck deny from Arfu. He empowers himself and hits him with a massive totem. Gets the kill. BDC, he's going to run. Your fight potential is there for SMG. KP going to run right into Bob, though Bob's got an invis, instead they're going to go into onto RR. And Bob should be able to help in a nice impel there. From our Nyx Assassin will mean he can try to run away. Combo is there from Moon and that'll be enough. <laughs> what do you, I mean, what do you do? At the very least, Raging Potato does end up killing off Roggy top lane. Meanwhile, towards the south, Bob, he's going to move in. Sonic Wave is going to be pretty on target. Arfu should die here to the Shadow Strike, or maybe not even, as they move in. But no, he'll blink forward to secure the Earthshaker, but it's going to be a mistake. And the deny is there from mid one as well. Salt in the wound. They will not get the kill. BDZ, he's going to be chased down. He should be all right. But the Wolves are going to keep vision, at least for a little bit. And in the end, they're going to let the clockwork go. Bloodseeker, very nicely. Even Bob, despite the deaths, hasn't lagged too far behind. But when it comes down to the objectives on map, it's not quite there, although... Oh, big target, mid one. He's been trapped up. He can't get the Wukongs off thanks to the battery assault of BDZ. And he's going to drop. Can they get any trades? Arfu, I mean, they'll go after BDZ, but he's inviting them to take his life. To allow Tino to get out safely. Roggy. No glimpse up. He's trying to get the kinetic field off. KB trying to keep up the vision. Unable to get there. Instead, they'll try onto RR, but they don't have a way to cancel. So KB, he'll keep going after Tino. Kinetic field actually going to trap him in. Do they have the damage? They do. 
So in the end, they do even out the team fight. In fact, SMG. They find oh, a better Mern. trade. Oh, rupture. He's got a haste room, but he's been ruptured up. Moon, he'll have to try and fight, but there's no real way, real way to fight. He will drop. Raging, gonna jump right out of the kinetic field, back in onto Roggi. Bound to strike off the mark, but mid one still gonna primal spring in to secure the pango kill. But Tino does get a double. Now Wukong's command out, but Tino is running very, very fast. Still nice start out from KP with the dominated creep. And Tino, he got trapped for a second. He's gonna get fishing up, but a nice impale RR. Trying to buy the time. Is it gonna be enough? KP still trying to chase him down to the primal spling. It'll be enough to take him out as BDC. He will hook shot towards RR, trying to escape with KP. KP now on the chase and look at the micro, look at the stun out from the centaur, but he wants to go after the Nyx assassin instead and he'll chase him down, but RR has the vendetta. He'll be alright. Now SMG, they will back off. They're just constant uh, with, it, with expression, they're, they're not really resting, they're not giving too much room for execration to breathe, like sure, execration on paper does have the network advantage, but it's really just not amounting to objectives, and that's where the big issue lies with execration. Lady Potato. Interesting kind of rolling going on here as he is going to be kind of surrounded now. Glimpse back into the kinetic field. We'll see how he gets out of this one. Echo Ooh. Slam Afu, he's in. Got him to three targets, and now the Boundless Strike is there to try and clean up. They do get KP for Raging. BDZ dropping low, but not low enough to die. Moon, he'll go on the Nyx, and RR, he will slowly die as Roggi finishes off BDZ. And they even found the Nyx Assassin in the end. Towards the north, KP currently being stalked by RR. Let's give himself some nice, uh, some nice ice armor on the Lycan. However, the cavalry is incoming. They do get the impale off. BDZ looking for a hook shot, but Global Science is there in KP. He's going to turn right back around. Nice boundless strike from mid one. RR, he's still alive, but not for long as he does drop. But a sonic wave there on Roggi. He might still be able to survive this. He wants to get the static storm, and he does. Right before he goes down, he got it off, and Bob, he's going to be glimpsed back, but it won't be enough to kill him off mid one. He'll try to chase him down. Dyer are scanning. Oh, blink towards the right. Primal Spring is there. Mid one. His spidey senses are tingling and he's found him. Bob. No. Nope. Blinks oh. towards the left, but there oh. is Moon. Yo, you have you have the oh, static storm. Although the hook is good. Yeah, hook shot is good. Moon. Still gonna be okay, but Rupture's there. Arfu gonna try and protect. Does jump in. Has the echo. Will commit it. And that'll mean BDZ dies. The Fisher oh. raging. Oh, he raging. doesn't have the mana. Oh, he didn't have the cooldown, rather. He does eventually get there to kill off Moon, and now they'll go onto Afu, trying to punish the Earthshaker, and they'll get him onto Moon. Now the Monkey King, that's the big target, Moon. Or rather, Life mid one, kill. he's trying to man fight, and he does. With the lifesteal, mid one, he'll survive. RR. Uh, uh. Well, he's going to try and get something done against Roggi. Impel's there, Bob. He should have enough, but Wukong's command, mid one, he's still going for this fight. Bob, he oh. will eventually get him in the tree line, mid one. He got too greedy in the end. And so Execration definitely finding the better end of that team fight. Mid one, just about enough gold as well to have the full wagon except drop BDZ. He's in. He might be able to steal this. The Roshan's still not down. It will go down now. Where's uh, the Aegis BDZ? What? He's what? got it. Oh, it was Trap John. I think the Wolves were blocking mid one. BDZ, he will eventually go down, but he dies a hero. Really but truly finding big objectives. They could eye high ground. They do not have Aegis. Again, as they lost that earlier on. Jump right into the blood, right? Impel though, doesn't really matter because when you have a silencer behind you, John, you can just do about do anything. <laughs> Moon, oh, he finds God. a double. Yeah, he's got the Ags. So AoE last word with AoE Arcane Curse. Everyone starts to cop and at times do damage once the silence pops in the last word. Very balanced. Uh, hero, very bounced talents if it does drag towards a level 5 Bob. Oh, the Rolling Thunder won't go through mid one. He might be safe. Four star forward. He dodges again. Mid one. He's going to try and man fight him, Bob. He almost barely dies, but does end up getting out as they do find the monkey. Hook shots there, BDZ. He's going to try and go after Moon. Not the easiest kill in the world, but they are doing a fair bit of damage here as Raging will die on the side, but they've got that silencer, it looks like. Fish is there, but it won't be enough. Still a two for three trade, but they have successfully defended high ground. I to get more out of these engagements, but it does feel like as the game scales on, it's only getting better for SMG. Alright, let's get 
Get caught in that Wukong's command. Nice setup from Arthur and That'll be a Nyx gone, but now the Rolling Thunder, they'll try and turn and get something out of this. Global Silence is there, Tino, he does BKB up through it. Look at this perma stun out onto mid one. BDZ's out with the hook shot, mid one surely dead. Tino's gonna rush forward, they've got him, but oh. now the Echo Afu. Onto three heroes, they'll glimpse back Raging Potato, they'll get another. BDZ, he's got no way out of this. You have got Execration rotating through that Radiant Jungle, but they are on the low ground. Shot, beat easy. He's gonna come in on the disruptor. They want Roger dead, but the static storm's gonna fly out and they are both caught in it. The Bloodseeker and Yaquap still Arthur also has been caught out and will die on the Earthshaker. Mid one, still gonna try and fight. Moon, he does end up killing off RR and now they get Tina on the Bloodseeker. Raging, BDZ both gonna have to back. Meanwhile, Bob, he's been controlled up by Arthur. Global Sans there just to make sure Bob is going nowhere. KP ends up getting raging, and now you're probably gonna lose your quap. 7k net worth advantage for SMG. They find one kill, but it's not amazing. The high ground's now open. They know Rupture's down. They know a couple of the spells are down for a bit longer. Respawns are long. Look at Moon. He's just jumping by himself. He can do this. He has the hook shot. He knows he's about. He's gonna die. He's dead in the fountain. There you go. Oh Echo slam out. Ah, foo. Setting up for another team fight. Nice Sonic wave there. Mid one, still gonna go after Bob and it looks like Arfu is actually gonna survive and they should be able to get the deny off on the Earthshaker. <laughs> they even deny with the Golem. <laughs> oh, KP, he loves it. All right. Kinetic Thought gonna hold him in. That's your Nyx Assassin gone. KP's being a little bit cheeky. He's using just his units to kill people now. As Raging Potato also drops. Roggy, he might go down. Tino, he's forced to commit the BKB to, to be able to get that kill. And now the chase is on. Can you get out? I'm going to say no. Oh, they got the yeah. wolf form on mid one as well. He's a wolf oh now, John. My God. Monkey and a wolf at the same time, apparently. Tino, <laughs> he's going to get taken down. Oh. We last word. Doesn't means he doesn't have to look at you. There you go. Pretty much. <laughs> Look at it! Half his HP from one last word shot! Yep. Oh? Oh? Is he gonna die? Yule's up. Oh. Rolling Thunder is there. BDZ gonna cogs, but the game's over. No GG. There you go.